This rule checks for signal nets with excessive vias. Having too many vias can degrade a signal since via transitions don't provide ideal return paths. This might create unwanted EMI radiations. This built-in rule can be run on high radiation and medium radiation object list. We can also create a rule group where we can edit which object list we can run the rule on. It's important to remember we can only run these rules on the nets that have a radiation class associated with it. I have created a rule group for single-ended DDR nets in which I am checking for violations for nets with high and medium radiation class. In the parameters, we can define the maximum allowable number of vias on DDR nets, whether stacked vias are counted as one via or not, and if counted, what is the maximum allowable distance between the two stacked vias. Let's run the rule and take a look at the violations. Double clicking on the rule will highlight and zoom to the net that has more via. The layout engineer can go back and try to route those nets on the same layer and minimize the number of vias required for that. This way, Hyperlinks DRC helps minimize the risk of running into SI issues on critical nets.